Howdy friends, this is Lance, and I'll be honest with you, I feel like right now I'm in a constant state of what is Google going to change? And just last, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on how do you deal with removing students from Google Meet sessions uh, because there was an issue within the Google Classroom link where students could get right back in. Well, Google has since resolved it. I wanna show you the breakdown of that to make sure that I have an updated video and that way you are updated on how this functions. So now how it works. So here I have this Google Meet link and when I click on it, it'll tell me that the meeting is ended. I can't get into it as a student. And then if I join it as a teacher, I get to this spot and when I hit the meet link here, it'll still tell me I can't get into it. It won't let the student in until they are able to hit the join button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit join and then I'm going to join it as a student as well. So let me make some adjustments here and turn off my microphone there. Now as a student, what I'm gonna do is click right here I'm gonna go ahead and be able to join this session. So now I'm in, the meeting is going, and I'm gonna go ahead and mute that as well so that way you don't get a nasty echo. And then if I want to remove a student, what will happen is I click on the People tab, and when I'm ready to remove a student, I click on the drop down just like before, and I can remove the student from the meeting. And then the student is removed, if the student tries to get back in by going back to classroom and clicking on the Google Meet link, it'll say that you can't join this video call. And as long as that video call is going, I'm not able to join it. So I'm gonna keep clicking on it and show you that this continues to happen. The student can't join. Now, what will happen is at one time you had to even possibly reset the link in order to actually get the student back in. If the teacher leaves the Google Meet, now there seems to be a period of time where after the teacher joins this Google Meet again, that the student still can't get in. Just give it some time, eventually it'll work. So I'm gonna join this Google Meet as a teacher. Hit join. I'm back in the Google Meet session as a teacher. Let's see what happens as a student. Now as a student, I'm able to get back in and join this Google Meet. I didn't have to change the link or anything. I just had to wait a few minutes until I launched that Google Meet link again. So just keep that in mind that you have that capability of being able to use the same link. You don't have to go into the settings of Google Classroom. You don't have to create a brand new Google Meet link here and reset the code. You're good to go. You just have to give it some time and then the student will get back in. Now, another option is when you're in this Google Meet, let's say that the student is having trouble getting into the Meet because at some point in time you had removed them. So here's another option. What you can do in that case is you can directly add that person. So here in the People tab, I just removed that student. Here in the People tab, what I can do is hit the Add button and I can add that student's email address. And I'll go ahead and send it. And by doing so, what will happen is it'll allow that student to be able to rejoin, even though they were removed earlier. So if that's the case, if you're having trouble and you're concerned about whether or not a student that was removed is able to get back into the Google Meet, all you have to do is make sure that you add the student there in the People tab, and then you can resolve that issue and you don't have to worry about it so much. Okay, now something else to keep in mind is if I, as the teacher, leave this Google Meet link, the student is still gonna be in that Google Meet link. You do need to make sure that the students have left the Google Meet, so that way you don't have to worry about them continuing on, or you can remove them manually, so that way they can't continue on. This Google Meet will continue to run until the students actually close the link, or the teacher goes back in and kicks them out. So I can, at this point, Back in, if I need to remove the student, I can click on the people tab and I can remove the student. They won't be able to just refresh or anything like that to get back into the session. So that allows you to be able to remove those students if they are continuing to stay in the Google Meet link.
I hope that you found this to be helpful. Uh, I am predicting at some point in time in the near future, there's going to be more Google Meet updates. But this is the update for September of 2020 as far as removing students and how to manage students uh, coming in and out of Google Meet using the classroom link.